While drillers make killers and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman, she has become a force in this division. And even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have thrown that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now. We'll see how it goes for her here tonight. All right, so here's the mixed martial arts superstar Paige Van Zant. This is a fighter's fighter, DC. She could do any number of things when it comes to her celebrity and her profile. She wants to fight in the UFC, and she's back tonight. She wants to be inside the octagon because she understands that before the UFC and before all these things, she was a fighter. Yeah. She came here to try and build a career. And by building a career, she built a second career outside of fighting. From Dancing with the Stars to the Swimsuit Edition, all of it, though, is based on her ability to win fights. When you go back and you watch some of her victories, the Alex Chambers victory and the jumping kick against Beck Rollins, you understand the level of martial artist that Paige Van Zandt is. She has missed a lot of time due to injury, missed all of 2017, had an arm injury that kept her out most of 2018, now plying her trade as a flyweight. We'll see how it goes for PBZ here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 19 wins, two losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Kyla Sato! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A freestyle fighter holding a professional record of eight wins, five losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Portland, Oregon, 12-gauge Paige Bazzard. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? First round underway. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, she talked a lot about the path of least resistance being the clinch, and she clinches here early. And watch for her to start to mix in that Ohio Bukiti. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. this fight to the ground that her opponent was going to be in trouble. So the takedown comes early, and so does the submission win. You know she's got great instincts when it comes to finishing fights. Once she gets them to the canvas, safe to say mission accomplished for her here tonight. Well, she couldn't have drawn it up any better than that as she gets the win by submission tonight. Big win and an even bigger statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 15 seconds of the very first round. He playing the winner by a tap out, 12 gauge, Paige Bassett. Well, it'll be standing room only at her after party tonight as she gets it done by way of submission. Thankfully, Daniel Cormier uh, is on the list. I'll be on the outside looking. I mean, John, I got you. We're going in together. Uh -huh. I'm not going in without my partner. But, man, she's a great grappler. She understands.